Hi friends, it's Peg, and today I want to do a simple painting. This is a a board uh, that you can get at a lot of the discount art places or Walmart or wherever. I don't even, I'm not even sure where I got this from. I'd done something originally on here, and it was ugly. It had sequins and glitter stuff and all that, and I just wasn't digging it. So what I did is I coated it with some gesso, and then I put a medium, uh, I put a one-step crackle on there from Deco Art. It's a crackle finish. And then I put a coat of this um, Josonia Chroma in, what color is this? This is... Raindrop. I love this color. Okay, so that's where we are so far. I mean, there was a lot of texture and all of that on here to start with, and I'm, I'm really good with that because I, I like the texture part. I just didn't like <laughs> all that other stuff that wasn't doing anything for me. So I've got a palette over here. I'm joining a whole group of artists uh, for this hop, and let me just get some paint out on my palette. I'm using some of these Americana. Uh, that one is a sunny day. And I've got a real, you know, this is a glue brush that's pretty darn stiff. And because what I want to do here is I just want to, let me get, even get some of that off. I want to just, you know, do a little bit of dry brushing in the background here. Add a little, add a little something, something here to my board. Okay, so I'm good with that. All right. Now I'm gonna figure out where I want my stuff on here. Now I've got some real bumpy areas. I've got some areas here that are not so bad. So I'm gonna take that and I want to add some color to it. Let me grab oh here I've got I've got a little bit of this red tone. I'm gonna to add a little bit of that into the yellow and get more of a peach tone because I want to do a flower center here. And I'm happy with that just that simple. So there's my flower center. Now I want to do some petals. So I've got, this is another discount dealie. This is a Martha Stewart something or other. I'm sure I picked up on sale someplace. And I just want to clean my brush out a little bit. Um, I'm going to take some of this out onto my palette. This is a home decor eggshell finish paint, it says. And I want to add just a touch of that yellow into that. I want to keep this in the same color family. Maybe just a hint more. Okay. Yeah. I'm liking that. Just right. So I want to I want to paint, but I don't think I want to paint with a palette knife. So let me let me clean my palette knife. Let me let me grab another brush because I may come back to that color. Um, I'm just going to grab another small brush here because I want to paint out some petals on this flower. So let's do
just creating as we go here. Um, nothing fancy, just kind of a little daisy shape. You know how the petals go around and around. And this is going to take some dry time because I'm I'm layering it up pretty thick. I, I want I want some texture in here, so. Almost all the way around. Let's see. Can I fit two in there? Maybe. Let's sneak one in behind. Just like that. And then I think we can do one more petal out this way. Okay, I'm liking that. So, I want, want to add more of that yellow tone. Let me get a little bit more of that yellow out. And I want that sort of towards the ends of these petals here. A little down here. Some out on the ends. Okay, and we need to add a little of that into our flower center, too, I think. like that. So now I need some green, don't I? So I've got a couple of different ones here. Uh, this is a chalky, this is a really nice deep green. This is another chalk finish. Let me start with this light one. Oh, it's really liquid. It's not what I want. I don't think I got that shaken. He's been on the shelf for a while. 
so it's separated out. Get a fresh rag. And let's see if I can get these mixed. Sorry, I don't want to make you sick. All right, let's see if this light one is. Get the lid back on that. That's a little bit better. Okay, so I want to add a little of this in between here. And maybe a little bit out on the tips, just, just a touch, pull that color in. a bit more than I was looking for. It would probably help if I got a liner instead of a... <laughs> okay. Alright, let me get let me get some of this darker green in here too. So I do want so I better wash that out. I do want to put a stem on this so that'll come down right about here. And we'll get the dark. that to blend a little and where's my little bitty tiny brush here we go let's take our little liner and let's do a little bit of still awfully wet but you know I gotta get this done Actually, going to put a little bit of that going up this way too. Get some texture. A little lighter green. Up in here. Yeah, I'm liking that. So I'm thinking I should probably do. Oh, let me get the yellow. Get the yellow. Let's do some sort of leaf here. And come back with the green. and the dark green. I 
probably add a little of that for highlight in here too. Okay, so I like all of that, but this has to dry. Okay, so before I dry all this down, I want to create a few, a few effects on here. I want some splashes. I'm happy with that. Let's dry. I have these old stickers in my stash from scrapbooking days, and I thought, well, I'm going to put bloom on here and, you know, glue that down really well with some collage medium. And then I will come in and wax some of the surface here. I want to put some pen work in. I'm using my Faber-Castell Big Brush markers and doing some shadowing and highlights with those. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you uh, check the description box below, there's the links to the people in the hop, and I sure hope you go give them some love uh, our Chana does a lot of work behind the scenes to put this together, and I appreciate her and the other artists that are contributing to this hop. So that's about it from me. I'll finish this up, give you some final stuff, and I will see you again soon. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Bye.